Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. In a 90-minute air display, the Su-30 aircraft of Indian Air Force teamed up with Australian Air Force's F-A-18 fighter jets in the ongoing exercise pitch black in Australia. Indian Su-30 aircraft and F-A-18 Super Hornets flew in formation for the first time, and the United States Marine Corps Ospreys also put on a spectacular handling display. Before taking the maiden flight together, the members of the Indian and Australian contingents trained alongside to build a cohesive combat team. The Indian Navy could soon get the Karakut Corvettes, as Russia is looking to export the Corvettes to India and Vietnam. At present, the Koro class Corvettes are in active service with the Indian Navy, and the Navy is looking to acquire seven new generation Corvettes at a cost of $2 billion, and several European and Russian shipyards have shown interest in the contract. The Karakut Corvettes features a maximum displacement of 800 metric tons, and a maximum speed of 30 knots. According to media reports, the United States has offered the TAD system to India, but the Indian Defense Ministry is not keen to begin discussions on the subject, during the 2 plus 2 dialogue between the two countries. India has successfully concluded the negotiations for the transfer of the S-400 system from Russia, and India is happy with the negotiations, as Russia has reduced around $1 billion from the asking price. The RDO is also in the advanced stage in the development of an indigenous BMD system, and a large number of tests have been successful. India's Defence Research and Development Organisation has developed a state-of-the-art ship-borne software-defined radios, which will replace the existing single-purpose hardware-based communication systems used by the Indian Navy. The next-generation radio communication system is expected to assist in the networking of naval resources, and enhance the operational capabilities of the Indian Navy. U.S. manufacturer Textron is winding down its defense operations in India. Textron was recently fined $300,000 by the Defense Ministry for not meeting offset obligations, and if the issue is not resolved, it could face a larger fine of $8 million in the future. The company makes a range of military products like V-22 Osprey and the Beechcraft D-6 military trainer. Yesterday, the Trump administration issued a federal notification, making India the third Asian country to get the Strategic Trade Authorization 1 status, which will pave the way for high-technology product sales to India, particularly in civil space and defense sectors. Traditionally, the US has placed only those countries in the SDA-1 list, who are the members of the four export control regimes, but the Trump administration made an exception for India, which is yet to become a member of the nuclear suppliers group. According to latest reports, Pakistan is expecting to receive a bailout loan package of $12 billion from the International Monetary Fund, and almost half of that amount would be spent to repay the previous loan of the International Monetary Fund. Pakistan sought financial support recently from the US, but Pakistan was told that the required funds were not available, even though the US recently received $9 billion from defense purchases by India.